change. I didn't move. I didn't do anything. That's weird. I don't... And I have a really strong signal now because I have a new internet provider. Are you on Rogers? No. Distributel. Distributel. That's yeah. Weird. They're through. They're through. No, actually, they've been around a long time. They're through Bell. Uh, um, and I yeah. got and I got a really good deal because they fucked me over for like a month, and so I ended up getting uh, a lot of the initial costs, like one hundred and eighty dollars, oh, like nixed from my bill, and then they gave me a special. Instead of six months, I got it for a year. Oh, see, that's what you got to do. You got to make wheels. You got to wheel and deal. Got to wheel and deal, man. I am with deals, I, deals, deals. I like. I went to the Dollarama today. I got some deals. I actually oh. just ate a can of smoked mussels from Dollarama. Mm. Do you like those? No, <laughs> but I know you do. Okay, so I don't like, think. Like, yeah, yeah. I know that kind of snack where it's kind of gross and delicious and it's all yours you know what i mean it's all yeah. what you like yeah and oh yeah. so good no one else is gonna want any however here's the thing i need to buy a couple of cans because alexandra will eat a whole can as well oh yeah 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 i love that <gasps> I, I bought um i bought three packages of decent smoked salmon for how much? Three packs. Uh, How many grams? Um, like, like, uh, say two hundred. Yeah, per, ish. Per. Okay, so usually two. Like, I like I know grocery yeah. shopping. Two hundred grams usually yeah. for smoke is about seven fifty, or ten ninety nine even. Ooh. It was ten. It was ten dollars for one or all three. For, for for all three. Wow. Wow, where was it yeah. from? Where was it? What kind of salmon? Like Atlantic? It's, it's uh, president. It's president's choice. Okay, your PC. Your and PC. it's a ten dollar ongoing special, and I get it from uh, No Frills. So you got three for ten? <laughs> three for ten, and it's all in one package. Like the package is ten dollars. Oh, always. Oh yeah. Oh, you. And so, Ugh. what do you do? Okay, so this is the thing. Was it frozen? Yeah. It's frozen. You thought but it's it so thaws. easy. Thaws like a dream. Yes, and it thaws so quick, right? So you can literally put it on the kitchen table counter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Boil a couple eggs, get some spinach flying around. You got a rye toast, a boiled egg, some smoked salmon, oh. some spinach. Capers? A capers? little. Uh, sure, I have capers. Yeah. Maybe even a little very thinly sliced sweet onion. Red sweet. And, uh, yes. and a and a dollop of Renee's Greek dressing instead of hollandaise, boom. See, I don't want, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put feta on there because that's cheese and. No, it's not feta. Oh, it's the dressing. It's like creamy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's instead of hollandaise and it's beautiful. I like doing it. Okay, I like, this is what I like to Ugh. make is a quick pickle. So I'll slice uh, red onions really, really, really thin and I'll just soak yeah. them in vinegar and a little bit of sugar. Quick pickle. Yeah. Salt, pepper. and then Oh, like it's almost pickled. Quick, a quick pickle. Like it literally, and quick, if you, uh, you quick, quickle them. You quickle them. And if you boil the, if you boil the vinegar and the sugar and the pepper and the whatever and you pour it on oh. it, and then you cool it, it's a super quick pickle. Like it's So you're going to blanch, you're going to blanch quickle it. You're going to blanch quickle it and it, but it lasts in your fridge and then you've got these delicious little pickles uh onions too Ooh. Yeah. oh that's i'm gonna good. try that and the rye the uh german i love the german that oh. th and it's not in the bakery it's in that plastic wrap it comes like six pieces right and I, I know the one it's like very very dense wet yeah. yeah it's wet and heavy you can't really toast it because it will just dry out you know what though that's my favorite thing to do i double, that's what you like i double toast it because i'll cut it in half, oh. double toast it it goes hard chewy slightly sticky it's mm. so and it's so, so you spread some whatever it's just like perfect and especially if you have a boiled egg on there like a like a still a little bit runny <sighs> goes right through that makes it real nice to get a nice texture challenge there <laughs> texture challenge <laughs> wait a minute though yeah. wait, the hard boiled okay this is how do you do yours so it's so it's perfect yolk six minutes it is lit six minutes from fridge Every single time, perfect, no jiggly white, perfect. 
every time. Now, what if, like, I don't want it, I want it runny for some things, but I want it so it's still, it's holding together, but it's, it's holding together. It, but it's creamy and just, just under runny. Just yes. over runny. I mean. It's, it's like, <sighs> it ha- the, the yolk is maybe one millimeter almost cooked, but the rest is runny. And the white is solid. Oh, and so, and like some flaked sea salt, some Malden salt, like whatever. Big, oh, oh, and a nice crushed salt. Oh, oh gosh. I love a flaked Malden salt. It's so bloody expensive. I am having that tomorrow. Are you going to do it? So what are you going to do? You're going to have a, do you, what's your bread? Are you going to do a rye or an English muffin? Like what do you? Just a light rye. A light rye. Like toasted. Right, right. Oh, spin it, wilted spinach. Uh, well, I bought frozen spinach cubes because they keep longer. They're so convenient. They're so convenient and they're the best. Agreed. I love it. You can't go wrong with a frozen spinach cube. No, you pop it out and you pop it in. Pop it in, pop it out. Yeah. No, well, you pop it out. You pop it in the micro. You pop it out of that. Then you pop it on your bread and then you pop the egg on the on oh. the popped spinach. Oh, oh. just pop, one pop. <clears throat> just pop, pop, pop. Hey. hey. And I've, and I've got some turkey sausages. Oh, yeah. So you get a nice crispy turkey sausage with a nice egg on rye with some spinach and some smoked salmon and some beautiful pink Himalayan crushed like sea salt, salt grinder stuff. Oh, I love oh, Are you kidding me? Like, honestly, food like always has been like this has to have a lot of different textures. So it's got to have the crunchy toast or whatever. Yeah. Or the density. It's going to have a, like a nice soft veg, like the spinach. A creamy, like the egg. Yeah. The, sh- the creamy egg, yeah. Right, right. The, the kind And of then the oily. sort of the, and then the denseness of the smoked salmon, which is. Oily, yeah. It's oily too, but it matches the egg so perfectly. Yeah, yeah. And then the acidity from that thin sliced onion. Oh. And then a pop of, if you're doing capers, a pop of a caper. Oh, oh my God. Throw, throw a pop of caper on there. Really? Like, seriously. <laughs> like, I just, I stand like half half the room away and I just fucking throw them right at my plate. Yeah. Just like, bam, boom. But just throw them. I don't know how many land on my dish. Go to, go to caper town. Would your bird eat capers? Because doesn't he eat like anything? He, well, they're too salty, so I wouldn't. Uh, but he'd probably eat the flour if it wasn't pickled. Like, I'm not going to feed him pickled food. But he eats everything. Right now, his favorite thing is kale stock, Brussels sprouts, that grapes. delicious. Grapes, uh, blueberries, apple, and pomegranates. Those are his, that, that's his, like, his, those are his jams. The fruit or, or the, the seeds no, for, for the all pomegranate. All, and plus he has seeds and, and quality little nuggets and stuff that he eats. How about papaya seeds? He could eat that, yeah. He hasn't had papaya yet, but he yeah. might. He likes the he likes the uh, a fruit with a skin that he can pop. Right. So the grape, the, grape. the blueberry, the pomegranate seeds, mm. he can pop them and drink the juice. Then he eats the pulp. He's like, he's and a, it's a, wow. He, he's like very particular. His cage seems fun though. It's like an all inclusive. Yeah, it's an all-inclusive. It's a little bed and breakfast. You know, you got the bells, literally, and the whistles, not yeah. literally. Call the butler. And he's sitting. Yeah. Yeah, and he's just sitting there right now underneath, like, this little fuzzy thing that hangs down. It's kind of like a like a, a sheet. Like a, sheet? No. It's like a bad wig. He's and got he just it sits on? Under, oh, no, he, like he sits under it because he likes the feeling of it on his back, and he runs through it like it's hair. Ah, uh, I wish it's... I had wings. <laughs> I wish I did too. I don't know though. If that would okay, so that would be my superhero. That would be my power. I really, really wish. You want to fly? I would love to fly because right now. Where would you go? I'd go to France or England for sure. Like I just, or you know what? I'd go anywhere. I'd fly down Pembina Highway you, to my mom. Would you go to the Queen's funeral? If you woke up with wings, I might, I might, you might, you well, don't know where the day's going to take you. I don't know, but if I could, I'd have to get, I'd have to wear a jacket and I'd somehow pack an umbrella, but yeah. Well, yeah. And mm-hmm. you're going to want to pack your sunglasses because oh, the sure. UV rays. Yeah. Oh and, yeah. I mean, it's still summer. Yeah. The thing is, and, and this is not to be gross, but like 
you're up there. Okay, I'd land. I guess I could just go to a shell station if I had to go. Yeah, whatever. Just the, yeah, I'm not a bird. And, well, no, you just you no. just poop as you go. But no, no, you're no. lucky. I don't. Yeah, you're because you I don't. don't. Yeah, you yeah. don't. No, no. So I, you wouldn't even have to like figure that out. I think about it. I think what is that like? Mm-hmm. You know, I think about that. But then and then it just and then it somehow it evaporates but, out my fingertips. But you know the weird thing? The queen didn't poop either. Oh, oh no! So she didn't. she didn't fart or poop. She's the queen. My, what's the word? Okay, so when you were growing up, what was the name for a fart? Fluffy. <laughs> was it the British side? Because like the queen. No, no. This was my dad. No, my what? dad was Italian. He didn't go fart. No. Did would you? Fart? My dad would say fluff. He go uh oh. Here, here comes a fluffy, or he go. Oh, uh oh, I feel there's a bur- there's a duck coming into the room. I'm, I'm gonna shoot the duck, and then he'd lean over and he go. Burr. God, this is so weird. It that yeah. never would have happened in my family. Like I'm telling you, when the queen passed, I like, guess well, whatever it was, it, there were, I brought up so many like things that she was a big part of our life, big part of our coffee yeah, mine table. Too. Yeah, mine too. Right, but fluffy. Yeah. I can't see. Like I never met you, Deb, but he just looks so macho. Because, because it was like so oh. cute, right? Because I was a little girl, he, oh, so yeah. he called them fluffies. <laughs> he he would shoot a bird, or he would shoot a duck, but I would fluffy. Oh my, my. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, it. <sighs> what did you call them? I call. Or what? you didn't because you didn't do them. Call so what? Call what? <laughs> I guess you'll never you'll never know. I know what my mom would say. Oh. Somebody foofed. <laughs> what? Poofed, yeah. I don't well, like as, I don't as my like mom it. got older, yeah. she didn't care, obviously. Because you know, living by herself and then living with me. <laughs> yeah. She would just let it rip and she'd go, Oh my God. <laughs> like Or oh my goodness. You know, <laughs> all the years you, I was with your father, I never did that. It feels great. <laughs> Like she just got it later. Oh my god, that's funny. She was just like, it just feels good, doesn't it? Oh, I'm like yeah. <laughs> or or she'd hear me do one. She'd be like, from from you know two rooms over. Oh, no. oh that was a good one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> or like oh. or like. Oh. So did you eat eggs? <laughs> what did you eat? No. No. Like she could tell when it was a oh, bit yeah. off. Oh, no. oh, are you gonna have? What did you eat? Oh, oh, oh my, my, my grandma, my grandma sulky. She would, uh, I guess, if my grandpa did or whatever. Oh, oh, you're getting sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, or I, I think I'm yeah. getting sick. <laughs> like what? Yeah, because you should not naturally have that much gas. Or it's like terrible. <laughs> like, have you ever... yeah, I was like, oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> well, remember, remember when I used to tell you when I knew something was wrong? Yeah. I'd be like. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. I just farted and it smelled like an Irish setter died inside of me. I know. An Irish setter. Oh, Christ. And why an Irish setter? I still don't understand. I don't know. Because they're big. They're oh. just big, lots of hair. Oh, like at least you didn't say Great Dane because that's just nasty. Do you like, like, no. no offense to Great Dane owners, to like, that's what I keep, whenever I like do my podcast, if I ever make fun of dogs, I don't hate dogs, but I don't ever want like no, a you Great don't want Dane. One. It is larger than a human. Like, why don't you just and get a horse? And why are you going to get something that big for six years? Six years. They have a low life expectancy. They have all sorts of well, problems. Well, if I got one as a gift, I'd be happy. <laughs> how long? Well, no. How they, long, you say? You, <laughs> six years. Good. Like six, six, seven, eight years. Yeah. That's I've, not. <laughs> Lisa, imagine though. Okay. Like, let's talk about worst gifts ever. Ha- Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Uh, like and you dick. get a great Dane, and you don't somebody have the heart who gives to you. Somebody who gives you a a dog does not know you. Oh, or it's just mean. Yeah, like a like a. What is the worst gift? Like what? What do you consider the worst gift other than an animal? Um, best. Okay, so worst. Uh, I'm gonna say clothing when they don't know you. Oh, you mean like the time my mother, who did know me, when I was, I'm not even kidding you, I was probably about 22 and quite small. Yeah. I think I was like maybe 110 pounds. Yeah. 
She bought me <laughs> a velour. Yeah, yeah. Velour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aztec, Aztec um, design oh, that... sweatsuit in a two X. <laughs> what? Like two extra large? Yeah, like two X. Like for 2X. a linebacker. <laughs> for for a woman of like a plus size woman, oh, no, like a very nice, broad shouldered, handsome woman. <laughs> Yeah, like a beautifully handsome, larger, oh, no. older lady. Oh no! What did you do? And what, like, were you the type uh, of go? Ah, uh, no, thanks, mom. I can't. Like this. Oh, is... absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, not... at that point, yeah, I yeah. was like, mom, <laughs> really? Where do you think this is going? <laughs> what? I could just see you, Lisa. I saw your actions when you did that. You kind of slump back a bit. Your hair, head goes back just a little bit, and you tilt it, and you go. Mom, like it's and my hand and my hand goes around. Yes, in front. yes, yeah. Oh, I go, Mom, really? Oh no! Like, what were you thinking right there with an Aztec emblem? Oh, across the chest. Well, it's very multicultural, dear. <laughs> she thought, oh, well, oh. I thought you could just get cozy in it and oh, use the, yeah. wear it while you were watching the television. And your mom picked that out herself because my mom would always say that the girl said this was the latest. <laughs> oh, no. So, yes, so many times, and I love my mom, but she'd be staring at me like I'm, I'm like, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, and I'm opening up the gift, right? And you're just going, okay, like, stop staring, but you're opening, and, oh. and they can't wait. And then you go, they it's... can't wait till you see it. And you don't know what to do when you hate it. You don't it. know what to do. You hate it. And then they go, try and it on, try it on. And your body, you're- And you feel terrible. Terrible. You feel terrible in it. You feel bad that you hate it. And then you don't tell them anything. Well, and they wonder why you don't wear it. And then you it. feel bad. Like you feel bad for them. Because they really, in that moment, <sighs> thought they chose it. Yeah. They chose it for you. The, the girl said- so when I bought this, I thought I was so on point being such a great mom because I'm getting you something that's totally hot. In. It's in, in Carrie. So bad. Like what? Like what would it be? Okay, well, there was one outfit, and I just remember going, good Lord. And I was about 10. And they were, it was probably, so 10, 1983. Picture Michael Jackson, pretty in style. Okay. These yeah. black pants. And I was in a weird kind of not- Sort of chubby, just losing my baby weight kind of thing. Yeah, so nothing, yeah, you're still like, yeah. yeah, you're not womanly yet. Nothing fit right, so I put these itchy black <laughs> plastic pants on, okay, oh my with God. pleats. So just the thighs were popping, and then this shirt. And oh, my, they had pleats at the top. Pleats at the top, but tight at the bottom. <gasps> zippers, plastic, oh. and just. Oh, I know what you mean. Bad. Yeah. And then the shirt that was like kind of, it had like paint splashes on it with a tie at the side. It was okay, but because oh. the pants didn't fit, it looked terrible. And then I had oh. a Princess Diana haircut that only lasted three days because no one uh -oh. tells you when you get the die cut, you need to have the styling tools afterwards. Otherwise it just yeah. goes. You can't replicate that on a day-to-day -day basis. No, it's like George Michael and and Princess Di, same what? hairdo. Like, but you have you, to have. You think they woke up like that? Oh my no. God. They do not send you away from the salon with curlers and hairspray. I went, my hair no. was so big, Lise. The, the Diana cut, so big. And when, and it looked so, great. So like parted really far on the side? Oh yeah, feathered, sprayed like a helmet. Yeah, it's a hair helmet. I had yeah. to wash my hair three days later and it was- Yeah, the, and then what do you do? It's so awkward layers. Then you're screwed. Layers of all kind, flat to my head. And <clears throat> I, uh, and it, it just, it was so embarrassing. Uh and I was crying, I couldn't, yeah, like I was just, and then that outfit. Like talk about hating your Hating yourself. What do you Hating do? Hating everything about yourself. Oh, yes, B.O. So uh, there was that. But do you have any pictures of that though? Um. Oh God. You know what? Like, okay. So when uh, boy, any boy, any of my boyfriends, like when you were having boyfriends come over, and there were pictures out, yeah. right? Did you let them have like, hey, here's my albums. I don't really care how bad I look. Like, there they are. No. You no, you my care. boyfriends, A, came over and we sat in the basement and drank. 
Right. Or my boyfriends came over and we went into my room. There was no sitting around looking at photo albums. Okay, well, wait, wait, wait. Go older. Okay, because I'm just going to – okay, so example. I'm 18. I have a solid boyfriend, not just the, like the ones from high school. Come over. And yeah. then that's when they meet the parents and you kind of have a relationship. And there were there were photo albums. I'd be like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, not that one. <laughs> uh, no, I was okay with that because oh. I thought, well, look how far I've come. Yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah, no, it did, that didn't bother me. Because there are some, and I go, yeesh. <laughs> like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, wow. no, like, I might skip over a couple years. Like, you're not going to see anything between 10 and 14. That's what I mean. Because that's ter- yeah. those are terrible. Oh, no, you're not seeing any of those. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Those are terrible years. I'll, I'll show you the ones where I was an adorable baby. Babies babies are fine. Like, so, it, you know what? Babies ba- are fine. Babies till about, about eight nine and then it starts to get really <laughs> exactly. shitty exactly yeah and your bot like, <gasps> what mm. you're thinking about your eggs now i i'm so full though i had a bunch of deli meat <sighs> oh i've had a bunch of drinks well just not a bunch actually just two like what are you having a moscow mule uh, i'm having <laughs> black fly what sour <gasps> black fly sour grape Seven percent, really delicious, kind of sweet but sour. Is there carbs in the outer? <laughs> well, I, I don't know, Carrie. I don't know. Gosh, I could just. Well, is there carbs? <laughs> is there carbs in the outer? I think when you're drinking booze, like, oh, I'm not really thinking of carbs. Oh, because I'm just gonna do whatever I do anyway. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, that's, see, we're different. <laughs> well, no. Well, you, well. <laughs> I'm eating legumes, though, now more lately. Oh, me too. Yeah. I can finally eat beans, legumes, yeah. pulses, and pulses. Okay, you know what? Seriously, Elise, never say that again. Like, I love I, it. <laughs> pulses? That's so British. I can eat legumes, pulses, and beans now. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought a pulse was a bean. Well, some some beans are pulses, but not all pulses are beans. Wow, get that on a t-shirt. Oh. Yeah, but no, I, I might. I might. Like, I made a nice, this is what I made uh, last week. <laughs> I made a real nice rotini. I, I boiled oh, up a nice yeah. rotini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit post al dente, because al dente is overrated. For sure. Oh yeah, it's too to the tooth. It's too much it's to too, the tooth. To too the, much to the tooth. Yeah, I hear you. So I made a nice, I made a nice rotini. Then what I did was I added a madras sauce, oh. an Indian madras, oh. an extra half can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes, yogurt, yogurt. and then I added mm. some very lightly heated bean medley. I wouldn't have thought that. That to it me was seems very, very nice. So an Italian noodle, an Indian flair. With that's Indian right. Flair. A, fu- a fusion of cultures, if you will. Okay, so that's funny because there's like where I live. You've been to Winnipeg Village. I have. And sumo the, sushi. Sumo. Oh, yeah. But fusion food to me is so funny sometimes. They are trying to smash so many cultures together that really, I, I don't know. I don't know. Chinese. Japanese pizza. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, we have Japanese, we have Korean pizza, Chinese, Israeli. Like, I don't think so. No. Chinese falafels what? ain't happening. I mean, that I just made that up, but I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they did Middle Eastern Norwegian. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Some oh, nice like Middle that. Eastern pickled shark. <laughs> You're right. What are you doing? What? Stop it. Yeah, uh, stop it. Just give me my food. There's a place here. It's, it's okay if you do it yourself because that's a choice. But when you're doing it to serve like a community, it's too messy. Stop it. I And you know what, though? Some foodies, though, they're all into like trying new stuff. Oh, did I tried Nalu on uh, yeah, no. Provence. And it's um, so good. I'm a foodie. So anybody who cooks at home now and He's a foodie. and like I have like my boss always tells me how great his son is, who also works with me. So I know him quite well. He always goes, oh, you know, uh, 
let's call him Joe. His name is not Joe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's call him Jonathan. His okay. name is Jonathan. Okay, I like it. I like yeah. it. Let's call him Jonathan. You know, Jonathan's a real foodie. Last night he made a roast chicken from scratch. He so what? he grew, so he grew the so, bird. Like, what are you saying? So, what? <laughs> so he just cooked chicken? Yeah. Like that. Well, it's not that he cooked it. He brined it. He did this. Yeah. So he cooked a chicken. Oh, this is so annoying. I totally know what you're saying. It's like, so wait yeah. a minute. So we, how come I know what cooking a chicken is for 25 years? I've been cooking chickens. and you It's just, just, just food. Well, did you brine it? You mean like water, pickling spices, or just sugar, or just salt, and soak it for, like, like brining? Yes. Well, who gives a shit? Yes. How about you just cooked a chicken the way you cooked it? Yeah. And but, it's just you cooking at home. You know what we you're did, not a though? foodie because you did that. Yeah. Oh, because you, you have an oven. You're a foodie now. <laughs> yeah. What? I well, you know, he really goes yeah. back to basics. Every he oh. does everything from scratch. Oh, you mean like his parents and his grandparents always did, and never called it anything fancy. So you're wait, 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 wait. Let me get get this straight. You're buying ingredients and putting them together. What? And you? That oh, wait. is a. Are you going back to basics? Do you have a fridge? Wow. So let me. So so let me guess. <laughs> Was it was it an organic meal with just food? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or yeah. or this. So yeah, he and and he will yeah. like they think they're infinitely fascinating. So they will t talk about oh. him making the chicken, but for like twenty five minutes. Oh god, go stop, stop, Look, stop, bitches. stop, stop. Yeah. Uh, then I guess I'm a foodie because <sighs> I grew up having a very extensive palate at a young age well yeah and you know what's funny is that me too so differently but like but like your home cooking your italian yeah. stuff but i i uh i hear you with the with the and i am you know what my boyfriend will say you are such a food snob i'm not a food snob here's the difference between food real food snobs <laughs> And just people who like to try anything. I like to right. try anything. And I do know, and Lisa, you're we're the same, I think, because you and I are kind of food snobs. Because if there yeah. is a better version of something that I can make homemade, yeah. or I like this uh, product better, then I'm a food snob. I don't just eat well, crap. Uh, I, I think back to like you know? when you and I would go shopping. Like when we would visit each other and we'd go shopping. Yeah. Like, oh, let's pick up some stuff to buy, right? We could pick up you know, chips and some cheese, some cheddar and some different things. And it's like, okay, we're just going to have a snacky night. But you and I would pick up like beets, yeah. eggplant, yeah. some weird yeah. different little accoutrement and put that all down. And olives, like a good yeah, olive. Some olives, all different kinds. Oh. We'd buy interesting crackers, some yeah. European yeah things yeah. and we would put that all together and we would have just these like it. these amazing snack just plates pick at it. Yeah. we wouldn't just go for you know yep. ordering a pizza or yep. so and I there's think that's... nothing wrong with that but yeah we have an elevated palate carry well it's I you know what I, I hate to say it but I think it's because most of the world does it's just this this North America like okay, so here is garbage. It's garbage, and like the, it's this is garbage. it's true. Like people go, oh, I went to Europe and I lost ten pounds. Yeah, and you know, you want, you want to know why? And I think Canada is maybe yeah. not as bad. Maybe I'm off because their food over there is not full of garbage. It's just yeah, not it's real food. It's real food. You and people, that's I, not being a foodie. No, that's not being a foodie. I came to Canada or I came to North America and I gained ten pounds. I don't know why. There's just so many options. The portions are bigger. No, it's because the food. Oh, so let, it's full so of let me chemicals. guess. You were in Europe. You were in Europe, you walked everywhere, and then you had some gorgeous meals where you didn't still feel hungry, and you felt satiated. Because it was real and food. And you lost weight. And it was real food. Oh. And it was like. Yeah, it was real food. And that cheese came from like uh, two miles away. And that, that pasta was right. made in the back. And the like, honestly, right. it, it the quality is just better. And that sounds snobby if you've yeah. never been over yeah. to Europe. And I would include. England. Or you didn't grow up that way. Or you Because a lot of people just grow up with like, you know. Wonder Bread and which is fine because I can't judge if that's what you have. That's what you have. I just don't know what that's like. There's always a better choice, but if it's what you know and you don't seek seek something else yeah. or try other things, yeah. 
then then it's uh, you know it's on you yeah i mean i love people who just go yeah i'll give it a shot never had it like i'll, <laughs> I I'll, I'll, I'll try I'm, that i'll try that you will i'm way better now I'm way better. What is one but, thing you would uh, this never is, eat? This is a real thing that happened to me. This is a true thing that happened. When I had, back in February 2021, when yeah. I almost died from critical anemia, I, and I had a massive blood transfusion, 16 hours. Yeah. At about, mm, I'd say like about one or two months later, my entire taste changed right I, yeah like entirely that. like entirely that is so i liked weird. bitter beers i started liking onion a bit more i started liking way more garlic i started enjoying r- richer more uh skunky flavors all sorts so of your things your body happened. was rejecting that before yeah garlic i, I started to be able to eat oats and Beans, legumes, and pulses. Oats and beans and barley grow. Pulses. <laughs> Sorry. Oats. I started being able. You so know? it's like my whole yeah. body changed. What I a- can't stand the beer I used to drink. What was it? Can't what was stand it? some of But you know, like I'd be okay with like a Coors Light. Ooh. I could drink a you know, because they were just kind of watery and they, they, they weren't offensive in any way. They were just mild taste. I couldn't drink a Coors Light now if you've paid me. See, this is the thing. Okay, there are people who will just eat to fill that hole. I I cannot mm-hmm. do it. I cannot do it. In fact, I get so yeah. frustrated sometimes. And maybe this yeah. is just, and it's not me being snobby, <clears throat> but I can't walk around. I could be starving. But if I can't find something that is uh, going to make me feel good about eating it, not like healthy. Like nourishing. Not, yeah, exactly. Nourishing. My body already knows that Carrie... You're not going to, you are not going to yeah. eat that because it's garbage and and, yeah. and it's not about calories. It's not about that. I will, I will be grumpy as hell because I can't find mm-hmm. something to eat. That's mm-hmm. going to make me feel good and actually like give me energy. Uh, yeah. Uh, now that's just, I mean, talk, it's different. But... Like if you, if you crave like, you know, sometimes I crave McDonald's. I have McDonald's right. literally four minute walk for me. I know. I almost never go there. But when I want something right. from there, I'll have it. Right. But it's not It's yeah. not continual. It's not all the time. It's a very specific craving. Yep. Normally, yeah. I want something really, like, nourishing. Like, your body knows what it needs. You eat a lot of the smoked salmon business and the sushi, like, with the smoked salmon. Like, that's – that. it's that. I had sushi today. Yeah, yeah. And I had sorry. sushi yesterday. Yeah, I know. It's so – and oh. I'm going to have smoked salmon tomorrow. If you don't like sushi, I don't get you. Like, that's the thing, but so many people don't. What? They're like, ew, that is gross. I would rather have sashimi. I can do with, like, I'll take, oh, like, yeah. one or two pieces of a roll. Yeah. Like, a really great roll. Me too. Oh. It's also got to have salmon on it. But oh. I don't want to eat 20 rolls. No. Nope. Like, I have no interest in it. Not a tuna person either. I would rather have no. the salmon, the fatty. Mm-hmm. Fatty, fatty, two by yep. four. <laughs> Sorry. Can't fit through the kitchen door. So what was these? Okay, so Alex is back in school today. She shows up. I pick her up from school. She's, uh, did you, uh, she's, she's embarrassed because I'm sitting there waiting for her because I didn't know. Like, it's what the gr- first day. Yeah, I know. Grade seven. What grade is she in? Grade Nine? Seven, grade seven. Grade so, yeah. seven. Oh, so, shit. She, but she's wearing a different shirt. Where's your, did you notice that I'm wearing, yes. I go, uh, that, yeah, that is not what you wore to school today. This is Zach's. Zach's shirt. Oh! Um, okay. Jack, Zach gave him her shirt on and, day one? And some stickers. <laughs> like, what? They're so old, but yeah, I know. What do you, like, I'm they're like, super. They're oh, already making adult choices, changes, changes, and yet the stickers. Yeah. But stickers. Like stickers. But the stickers <laughs> I were. I gotcha. So the stickers was a Blondie sticker, like the band Blondie. There was a One Direction. Oh. Okay. Just funny, actually, uh, just Stranger Things, but, but kind of cool. But I'm like, oh my god, sex shirt. You guys are. Tr- he's giving you clothes. Here, wear. Listen, here, wear this, babe. Noose mine. <laughs> S- this, like he. Oh god. 
She uh, would, if she hears me say it, she would kill me. She's in the who, other room. Who's Zach? Who like, is he, though? It's just very, they, they went to uh, like kindergarten to now together. They're just super good friends. But Oh, it's so like, they have a history. Oh, yeah. And then there's... Uh, okay. Uh, the whole thing today was like, um, so how is school driving her home? Well, it was pretty much the most fun day ever. And okay, so I'm right It was near, pretty much what? My, the most fun day ever. I'm right near the door. And then we've got like, she did the configuration of the desks and so and so and so and so. And then I went in into the bedroom and I was talking to some more and she goes, oh my God, smell my socks. Like she's just, she, it, she's, it's she, <laughs> uh, funny. Kid. She's a teen. She's a teen, but also she's just, a teen. I said, hey, Alex, something about Facebook. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about, mom. I don't know Facebook. Uh, yeah. It's they, so old. They don't, I did. Okay. So, and it took me forever what? to understand that. Like I didn't realize how old Facebook was for old oh, people. It's, old. <laughs> it's, for like, it's, it's for old people. Yeah. So so, what is she using? What what's the go to? TikTok. It's no, she uses uh, Snapchat. She's just oh yeah, she's well, just Snap's snapping. always a big one because the Snap and, though and you know is what texty. I, you know what I don't like about Snapchat? I don't have a problem with it because I love their filters and I love all the cool stuff you can do. It goes. But away. when you erase a conversation in twenty four hours, right? When you think my conversations are disposable i have a problem with that oh big problem you take offense i just don't like that premise yeah yeah it's Why? actually it's actually because you're... i i want to go back on conversations right. and look up like what were we talking about what did you say what were the things you said or yeah <gasps> it's oh. it's just too disposable 24 hours you're gonna delete our our conversation no 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 no. No. Uh, no. Uh, no. 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 Yeah. No. Well, this yeah, is the so, thing. I mean, you I know don't... what? Fuck Snap. Oh well, I I use it because that's what she uses, and that's how I can communicate. But I don't like it how you take a screenshot of and course. it that's says different. Yeah. It says that you took a screenshot, and then I get a message back from her. Yeah. Why did you save that that text? Then she, like I just feel like oh god, can I do anything? Oh. Well, you know, I was I listened to something today that I really liked. <laughs> You don't have to know everything. You don't need to know why I do everything. Yep. You just don't. Uh huh. You just don't. Yep. You and you do in not fact, learn that until later. You, you're not entitled to it. You just don't need to know everything that happens every time it happens, when it happens, if it happens, who also knows. Absolutely. It's just. Yep. You just don't. I'm so screw it. Yep. I'm with you on that because there's, and you, I don't know when, when you learn that, but l like lately there are some people that still, they, they really uh, place so much value on what other people are thinking or reacting or whatever. Like they just oh do. My, everywhere. I know. Even if you say something God, like, over that. And I, I used to be guilty of this and I, and I get it now. I've completely changed how I do things. When somebody would say something like, I don't know. Uh, just an, as an example, I had fish and chips. Yeah. Whatever, right? Yeah. And then I would chime in with, I hate fish and chips or or something. Yeah. Which their prerogative, my prerogative, neither one needs to be acknowledged. You like it, I don't, let's move on. Oh, yeah. I'm it's not, not no. it's not, it's not, you're wrong for liking it. I'm not wrong for not liking it. Mm. It's just that's what it is. But that's your it, it style. It doesn't though. have to become an argument. No, no. Because I like something and you don't. I don't think I've ever it, been it, really like that. My mom, like, we're just the, our family is not like that at all. Like, I, oh, I love this. Oh, I don't like that no, at all. I'm, I'm talking on social media. Oh, on social media specifically. Oh yeah, I don't care enough. Yeah. I mean, I care about well, because people, I have, but I don't care right to even say. Unless it's funny, unless I can make it funny. Oh yeah, like, but but other than that, like, so what if I don't like it? You don't even. I, I, what, I gotta, exactly. I gotta clean the I mean, sink. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I mean, if if I say I don't like a celebrity or I don't like this person or I don't like that or I do like this and I do like that, why does anybody actually care what I like? No why one. Do, why does someone? Cares? There's no value. Well, they chime in like they do. Well, that's right. Everybody the chimes in like they care. 
the whole thing is is that there's no value in anybody just saying, "Oh yeah, I like I like Susan Sarandon too." Wow, there's no value in that. Now, if you can yeah. make it into something valuable, I like mm-hmm. th- like there's got to be some exactly. nugget of value attached to value. Uh, yeah. Other- and, and you have to find the value in right. there. And most people don't. who don't have a brain can't find value in anything. So they're just spewing out garbage, just constantly just garbage, garbage, garbage. And I think the difference with you and I is we can always find an angle that's well, I, I, hilarious, interesting, or something. Well, I don't want to come across like assholes. I'm just, I, but I, but I think you Carrie. No, I know. I think you're right, but I, I you d- are an asshole. Yeah, I know, but I like. I'm not okay. I would never say it, something. But that's not a. That's not. Um, that's not an insult. No, I, I know, don't I know. mean it that way. No, I know. I know. But like when people go, but the, like, here's the thing. I actually believe, least that like people uh, how would say more if they actually just thought about it. It's not like they don't right. want. It. If they, they're not, right. they're not going. Because like if if I said hey hey uh, uh, John I saw your comment about Susan Sarandon, uh, it, it appears that you like her too. Yes, I do. Any, right. Anything else? Why do you like her? Oh, I actually didn't think of writing that. Oh, I like her because it's uh, like people don't uh, like they don't even yeah. think to even add on. No, because they don't work. Like most that. people are terrible writers. Ah. And and have a very hard time expressing themselves through a text medium. Whereas I never have. I love the written word on the internet. I've always been good at it. That's why I was dating people in 1997 from the internet. Because right. I've always been able to, uh, you know, manage it. Yeah. I just, and I most mean, people can't. They can't or they, or they also just don't even want to. Like I have a friend, he writes. No, people he- are stupid. Oh my god! Unfortunately, <laughs> You're just like, it's I, true. I know, but I'm not gonna say it. you can. This is the this is the old argument. Like Jerry Seinfeld and Ricky Gervais, like the, in the cars with the comedians. Jerry will say these like sweeping statements about people, and Ricky Gervais is like, "Oh, I can think it, but I'm not gonna say it." That's just the well, difference. But he does between... say it. Well, I know, but he it, does say it. I know, but like I just, you know what? That's my mom and me. I just cannot say people are stupid. I am better. Of course. Of course I realize it's a blanket statement. <laughs> like, of course can't. I know it isn't true. It's like you don't have to follow it up with a hashtag not uh, hashtag not all people. Hashtag not all humans. Of course we know it's not everyone. But, but, how about but how? I'm just saying like generally, like really generally. The overall. A lo- lo- lot, st- lot of stupidity. A lot of it. Alex is making some Milo. You know what that is? Milo? That coconut, no, what that is- chocolate, malt drink, Milo. Oh, it's from Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. We bought it I yesterday. Can, I can visualize. Yeah, she's eating it. Isn't with it a from spoon. like uh, Jamaica or it's, something? It's from Brazil, and it's so malty oh, it's and so delicious. And <gasps> mm, you, I love like malt. Ovaltine? It's way better than Ovaltine. It's malty, <gasps> and we add it. To I gotta it. get some. You do. It's right now. You're looking at a special at four ninety sign at ninety seven out of Walmart for for, for a quick. I'm gonna look it up on Amazon. You're not gonna get Milo delivered. You are gonna get it delivered. Yes, I am. I get <sighs> everything delivered. My entire wardrobe is okay, from Amazon. Here's the problem. Then let's go back to your knees and all that stuff. This is the thing with people getting everything delivered now. They're not moving. Listen to lady with a car over here. Listen to lady. Oh my God. But the thing is, Lise, I barely drive it because I can walk everywhere. I go to my mom's back and I go to. Oh, I I do walk. I walk around my neighborhood all the time. I try not to like I have. And and the thing is, too, in Winnipeg, unfortunately, it blows. You have to have a car. Otherwise, you would actually go. I know. Like Toronto is just so good because of the thing. But I just I'm thinking that that was my big thing. Everything. Everything. Within 10 minutes of me, I have a grocery store, a bar. A local a dive. Is that your no, EY? Notice I put that up right at the top. EY? Um, yeah, the EY. Oh. I have a Subway. I have a Shoppers. I have gorgeous Greek restaurants. I have Italian restaurants, Chinese restaurants. I've got dollar stores. I've got everything. 
a Burger King, a McDonald's. <laughs> You've got dollar stores. I mean, they're stores. not things I use got... all the time. Oh, what do you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh no, I like I, I like a. I've been to that McDonald's actually right near you. It's I had a. I know. Well, hey, tomorrow. Oh. What you're gonna tomorrow? Go? I'm gonna take a whack. Uh, just over to the Freedom Mobile store and see if I can trade up my phone. She's having a ramen. <laughs> Is it a ramen? She thinks we're nuts. <coughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, my allergies are actually acting a little inflamed. Okay, I'm feeling very sniffly. Oh yeah, and uh, okay. what not? Well, I got. Well, okay, I, care. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, well, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm gonna go too. Um, yeah, let's talk tomorrow. Let's talk I'll let tomorrow. you know if I get a new phone at uh, Freedom or not. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me if you get a new phone at Freedom. Okay? Yeah. Bye, bye. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, bye Brian. Bye, bye Brian. Okay, bye, bye, Brian. Bye, Brian. Bye. 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 bye.